All right, Rachel, well, you know, your boys are home for the rest of the school year, and just like mm. everyone else's kids, education, leaders there are just trying to figure out what their next move is. So we want to hear from parents. How do you think Arizona should be handling the upcoming school year? Text us your thoughts at 602-444-1212. Meanwhile, in California, Governor Gavin Newsom said that more than 6 million students could be back in the classroom as early as late July in California. The decision isn't final, but local leaders... They're trying to figure out how to make up for that lost time after schools closed early last month. And in Arizona, Governor Ducey, he's already announced that schools will remain closed for the remainder of the school year. That happened back in March. Now, what happened then is teachers moved all their lesson plans online and parents took over the in-person instruction. And that plan to keep kids at home is a temporary one, but Superintendent Kathy Hoffman says a permanent plan will be harder to tackle said things could change very quickly we have there could be so many things that come up that we can't predict districts do have that right to make that decision for themselves but i would i would encourage our districts to to make that decision with the county health office all right so how do you think arizona schools should handle this situation tara on twitter says we should follow the science data and advice of the experts so what does that look like though uh taco says this is their summer and they should enjoy it now. And as soon as everything is open, they go right back to school. So Taco seems to be in favor of going right back when everything is safe to go back, no matter when that is, Rachel. Um, I, I, yeah. I wonder and I want to ask from you, my son is too young to go to school. You have two school age kids. What Damn. do you think should be happening here? So I am desperate. I am begging our head of school to even if it's, let's say we get in mid-summer, mid-July, um, and we're still not in the position where we feel it's safe for kids to go back to the classroom. I'm pushing for online remote learning, whatever, to pick back up because I'm really concerned about the brain drain. I mean, you're talking essentially five months of kids not having in-school structure. So mm -hmm. even if we can do something to bring back remote learning early, I'm good with that. But I can't go three months with nothing, Ryan. I'm dying here. <laughs> All right, well, that's that's the thing. At this point, you know, another month and a half or so, and that would be the entirety of what a normal summer would be anyway. So, yeah. and that would just really get us to, you know, the end of June. So something probably should be done. Yes, something, help. <laughs> All right, turning topics.